How's everyone doing? <clears throat> it's Jeff Bess at Charting Horse Value. Doing Saratoga races of the day. We're going to cover two races, races four and five. And um, I wanted to hit the big stakes race, talk about that. And then I, I had a reason for highlighting race five as well. So let's take a look at it. Race four. Um, this is Bella, a four horse field, grade two. I know it's awful, these short fields. Um, Bella Sophia is one to two and definitely the most likely winner in the race. It's on top of the chart. Um, however, the odds, if you look at the odds, the horse does not dominate in the odds area, but does dominate on the energy. 103 next closest is 97, 98. That's pretty dominant. One to two, got no complaints with anyone who likes that horse. Now there's this horse Amadevil in here, the three, at 12 to 1 morning line, which I feel is a bit generous. Uh, these are probably a little bit lower than they should be. These two odds lines probably should be more like 8, 9 to 1. Uh, and it's a little thing I got to look at. She's coming out of high bred races, so I'm not sure I've got this right. But um, she does have great early speed of 103 and is going to put the pressure on Bella Sofia. Um, I don't think she can hang with Bella Sophia and will fall off and probably take last. But uh, she is going to put the pressure. And that might set it up for Frank's Rockette, who only lost to Bella Sophia by a nose in the last race and um, has a little bit more of a freshening coming into this. And if you can get three to one on this horse, we'll see what the odds do. Um, you know, the pace might set up for Frank's Rockette. I don't like Kamari. Kamari's last two races just don't look that good to me, so I'm staying away there. I think it comes down to Bella Sophia or Frank Sorokat, and hopefully Emma Devil can put some pressure on Bella Sophia and set it up for Frank Sorokat. All right, moving on to race five. This is a 12 furlong. You don't see that every day. Race on the turf. Gets a really good bet score. The seven hometown is main track only, with, a, with no jockey named. Uh really you know the jockeys and trainers all look good in this race and you know you got this horse coming over from germany and italy mooney love and you know what do you do with a horse like that you, there's no speed figures uh these three horses forward lead Giro and dante's fire look very similar on speed figures but you got nothing on mooney love and that's one of the things that's valuable about charting horse valley charts is i can analyze these races that Mooney Love is coming out of. And she scores very well on both PFDS odds and best odds. Uh, and so I think this horse is a legitimate shot. I think this is uh, Mott. Um, and I can't remember who's right, maybe Rosario. Um, but this horse fits and uh, gets $17 of value, gets A+. Plus. This to me is a solid wager. Forward Lee is coming out of a maiden, probably the second best horse in the race, but exiting a maiden. Jero, uh, I think, is getting back to turf, might improve getting back to turf, but I'm a little disappointed by this 3.3 to 8.8 .8 decline on best odds. I really don't like anybody else in the race, so I think Mooney Love, if we can get close to 2 to 1, is a pretty solid bet. All right, that could be a pretty easy double, you know, maybe one six straight double, or or if you like Bella Sophia, two six straight double. Um, all right, let's get it. Take care. Talk to you the next day.